Hi, I'm Sydney Galpern from SeeMeCakes.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the brand new SeeMe Transfer Sheets created by Icing Images. SeeMe Transfer Sheets work very similarly to how Cocoa Butter Transfer Sheets are going to work on chocolate, except Icing Images created these perfectly for using with Isomalt. So what we're going to do is I have a plain SeeMe Transfer Sheet right here. I'm going to print out an edible design onto it and then when you pour Isomalt onto the surface, it's going to, as soon as it cools, release from the plastic backing here and you have a beautiful translucent design in your ice malt piece. So what I'm going to do is insert my transfer sheet right into my printer here and I'm going to go and pick out a design. So I have my computer up here and I'm on the iDesigns program from icingimages.com. It's a subscription program and it has thousands of different designs and different colors and themes that you can choose from to suit your piece. So I've chosen pattern number 907 here. At the height of it is three and a quarter inches. Now you can adjust that height if you wanted the pattern to come out bigger or smaller, but I like this three and a quarter inch for my specific um, piece that I'm going to do and it will go straight to my edible printer and print out that pattern using the edible ink cartridges. So I have this beautiful print here and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down on my silicone mat face up and I'm gonna use my semi flex form molds here which are tubes of silicone to create a frame and what the frame is going to do it's going to give me a space to pour into and then after my pieces dry I will release the flex form molds and it will leave my shape so I'm just gonna make these into kind of an abstract swirl here and then I heated up some of my semi isomalt so this is pre-cooked so all I had to do was melt it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then 15 second intervals in a silicone bowl until it was liquid now I'm being very careful because this is about 300 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and pour into my frame that I created directly onto the surface of the paper so the paper side is up the backing side is down against my mat just enough to cover over the bottom. So I will go ahead and let this sit for about 20 minutes. So now that my ice mold is cooled to the touch with a toothpick, I'm going to release my Flexform molds off of the edges. I pick up my ice mold piece, peel this plastic backing away from the back of my piece, and now you can see you have a beautiful translucent design in your ice mold, and this piece is going to be perfect to add to other pieces to make a beautiful cake topper or centerpiece just like this sculpture that I did earlier. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to visit icingimages.com for more information about edible printing and the iDesigns program. And make sure to visit seemecakes.com for more information about the brand new Seamy transfer sheets. Until next time, keep life sweet.